Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Shipyard, which is one of my favourite games. It is from Vladimir Tsuchi, who you may well recognise as the designer of Praga Kappa Regni, Underwater Cities, Plus R2849, Last Will, so many games. So I have already done a playthrough for this in its two-player form. Today I'm going to be playing a solo variant that is fan-made. It has been made by Larry Schneider. So thank you for your work, Larry. Hopefully I get a decent score. I'm going to be playing on the normal difficulty today. This is a game all about building ships, getting the right equipment on them, getting the right canals to sail them across and trying to eke out the most points through all of this coming together. Before we get started, though, I would encourage you to turn on the Klingon subtitles. If I've made any mistakes, they will be likely corrected there. Thank you very much, Steve. And if you would like to help me keep making playthroughs, I've made hundreds of these and I would like to make more. Uh, it's patreon.com forward slash slicker drips. There are rewards to be had of course but the main thing is you know, playthroughs keep happening and more can happen and won't all of that be fantastic thank you so much to all of my patrons so i start the game here just as i would in a multiplayer game i've got six guilders at uh, six guilders coincidentally is the amount of money that it costs to take an extra turn uh, i start off with six government contracts three blue three green i'm going to be whittling these down throughout the game as we take actions they will move around this track when they get back to the start again that's when I have to decide one green, one blue to be my actual scoring condition. So I might want ships with loads of lanterns on, ships that are exactly five tiles long, or every ship with a lifeboat, uh, rubber ring and lantern are worth five points each. And then on blue, I can get points for having lots of soldiers, having lots of businessmen, or for every canal tile I've had and have moved off. We'll see how all of that works when I start moving my ships about. But first things first, I need to pick an action. There's no advancing action tiles and all of that in your first turns. Because this simulates a two-player game, we have three action markers here. This because uh, you kind of block off more action tiles in the two-player game. So I need to choose one of my actions. I can get staff members that will let me adjust the actions, make them more powerful, get me more money from doing certain things, get me some points at the end maybe. I can get a commodity wagon that I can later sell at a different action for either money or parts for my ship. That's the next one along. I can come to some of the rondelles, rondelles on rondelles. I can get people and propellers uh, from the green action and I can get all of the other things for my ship with the brown action, sails, smokestacks, all of that kind of stuff to improve the speed of my ship and uh, help it meet its criteria. I can buy new canals with this action and I can buy new ship parts with this action. There is no action for finishing your ship and going on a cruise. That happens as soon as you have a front, middle and back for your boat. Bow and stern? I'm never going to remember which is which though, am I? Uh, as soon as you've got a complete ship, it goes off on a cruise, so you'd better hope that you've got you know, a canal for it to go on and uh, a captain and all of that, because otherwise your ship will just sail off and, and, well, sink, I guess, or go nowhere, and it'll just get taken off you. Do you know what? I think I'm going to start out by getting some staff. Why not? So the way the rondelles work in this game is you can move the marker one space clockwise and take something from there, or you can pay money, a gilder each time, to move it an extra space. So you can have what you want as long as you're prepared to pay for it. I'm just going to go with free. So some have a coin in the corner. You can see they will cost you an extra gilder to take those. But none in my section here have that. So I've got the choice of when I do this action in future, I can move it up to three extra spaces for free. Or I can choose from builders that would let me put uh, guns or sails on my ship, even if I haven't got spaces for them, up to two extra. I like the idea of my ship having loads of extra stuff on it. I am going to take that builder. So I want to try and get a load of sails. We're not going to be able to get staff again for a little while though. Now we come over to the shipmeister. So we're not, we're not playing Dragonfire, by the way. The variant includes a deck of Automa cards, which I've printed out and you know, they're flimsy as paper. So I've just uh, popped them in these sleeves. So what you need to do on the shipmeister's turn, draw the top of the Automa deck and it's kind of uh, a, a checklist, a flowchart. He'll do the first thing that he can. So can he do the get ship parts action? Yes, he can. He's gonna pop his marker on there and let's see how he takes that action. You'll also need some dice for this variant. So when he comes to build ships, you need to roll these three D8s and the colors are just so that you know, it defines you know, first, second and third, just so it's kind of easy to remember. Red, white, blue, one, two, three. So it's building ships and it's got no ship parts on its board. The shipmeister does not care about money. He does not get any at the start. He never has to spend any of it. 
Uh, he is going to, first of all, try and take the cheapest piece with a rudder on it. This is, you know, an attachment point that you could put a propeller on your ship. Ships with propellers, much more likely to go faster, go further, score more. So he wants to take those opportunities away as best he can. So he takes that piece and puts it in the rightmost space of his board. Otherwise, he would have used the first die, so we don't need that now. For the second ship piece, he's going to use the second die to take the appropriate middle ship tile and carry on building his ship. So if we've rolled a 5 to 8 on these d8s, he'll take something from the free section. If he rolls a 1 to 4, we count that many spaces up. So he is going to take something from one, two, three rows up. And you see the card here tells us which of those middle tiles to take, the leftmost one. So he takes that and puts it on his ship as well. And finally, for the third ship piece, if the word shakedown is written on the icon, or if he's only got one space left on his player board, he finishes his ship. If he needed a stern, he would get one now. He'd try and get one with a rudder. But if he needs a bow, then he will get one based on the result of this die. He's rolled an eight, so he takes it from the zero row, pops it on there. He's completed a ship. Now, he does not need to go on canals and stuff and go on proper shakedown cruises. We assume that he's done all of that. The ship display refreshes by the tiles all falling down, and then we refill the top spots that are now empty. Now, if he had things on his board, he would fill his ship with them. So if he had a captain, if he had a propeller, smokestacks, all of that stuff, he would place them to the extent that he's allowed to. Now, usually you must have a captain on your ship. The shipmeister, you know, he's, he's greased the wheels. He doesn't need a captain. So you score it based on its speed. Now, it has not got a smokestack and propeller. So we go to this table. It gets one base speed just for existing. Then for every sail it's got, it gets an extra speed. For every two smokestacks, one more speed. And for the propeller, one more speed. Add all of that up. Uh, so he's got none of that. It's got one speed. You also get extra points for having crew or cranes and cannons on board. He's got none of that, of course. So he's going to get a point, basically. But he hasn't had to spend any money for that. It's just an action that he's taken. Then this is just for the shipmeister. You add up the number of lanterns, lifeboats, and lifebuoys. So that is actually one of each. And then, because we're playing on normal difficulty, we multiply that total by three. So he gets nine more points. This is to kind of make up for the fact that he's doing it a bit randomly, and he's also not going to score any points from going on the canals and getting bonuses from there. So it's to make up for that. So then we clear off his completed ship and pop it off to the side, and that's it for his turn. Now we come to choose our next action. This is where the other two workers come in. You track which is your oldest action. You'll see why on the third turn. So I can't take the action, uh, get ship parts now. I might want to just grab things for my ship, though. Now, if I go for the brown action here, I could earn a bit of money. You get a gilder for every marker that's ahead of the one that you pick. I think I wouldn't mind getting a start on getting some sales, perhaps. Let's go for that. So I go on the brown. I've got two markers in front of me. I get two money. That's good because I'm planning on spending a bit of cash. Uh, so I get to move the rondelle once for free, and then I'm going to pay to move it once more because that's now going to get me a sale. All of your pieces kind of live on your player board. Uh, the, you can have as much as you like. You put it onto ships when you need to. Back to the shipmeister then. What's he going to go for? He can't go for build ships. He can go for commodities. So he can go on that space. So this works the same whether he is um, exchanging commodities or purchasing commodities. If he's got a train tile, he exchanges commodities and he exchanges them based on a priority list that he's got. So he's got one of each thing. He doesn't care about money, of course, he doesn't use it. So he always wants to trade them for things. He's got nothing in his possession at the moment. He wants to try and have one of everything first. So his first priority is a captain. How does he get a captain? Well, you need to trade in gold for that. He can do that. He's got a gold on here. So he can trade that in for a captain, no problem. His next priority is a propeller. That's coal. There's a coal on here. There's basically one of each thing on your starting uh, commodity tile. So captain, then propeller. Then his third thing is a smokestack. That's coal, which he's already spent, so he can't have that. Next up is cannons. So that is steel. He can trade his steel in for a cannon. And so he's got one each of those things. So his next ship is going to be worth more points for sure. 
His train tile's gone now, though, and we move on to me. Well, I'm doing this wrong. You put the marker to show your oldest thing. Getting too excited. Uh, so now, your oldest thing. You take your markers off it, and it goes to the front. This was already at the front. That means it just moves one space ahead. One marker goes on here to show that that is now my oldest action taken. Then I need to choose something else. I cannot choose the action I just came off. I would not mind a green piece at all. I am behind a marker, so that earns me a gilder. And the next space along is propeller. Hopefully I can get a stern with a rudder so I can attach the propeller to it. Or get the employee that lets me put a propeller on with no space for it. So next up, Mr. Shipmeister goes. So he needs to pick an action and he can't go. I'm on green. Uh, he just came off ship parts. He can purchase commodities. He has not got a train. So what do we do now? Uh, we roll a D8 and choose which one he's going to get. Roll a one. So he takes one row above the zero cost. That's in his supply now and we shift all of these down for the next person to take this action. The parts action goes to the front, and my second marker goes on here. And what would I like to do? So I could get three guilders for grabbing a canal part, and I could just go for the free one. That would be great. It's important to bear in mind, it's just the number of cards that are occupied, not the number of pieces. The, there are more pieces just to keep track of your oldest one. So three there I would get. I'm building up quite a nest egg here. Maybe it's time to think about uh, taking extra action. So, I haven't got any ship pots, and but that does keep being his priority. I am leaving it at risk that the shipmeister is just going to take that action, but I, I might just have to pay next time to be able to take that action if he does take it. Okay, I'm going to go for cheap on canals. I don't have any ship pots that say, oh yeah, I'm going to have loads of um, lanterns, so I want more of those on there. Uh, I'm just going to take the free one for now, and let's uh, let's work off that. So next up, new Shipmeister card. He is going for ship tiles. I should not have risked it. So we roll his dice and see what he's going to take. So three, six, four. He's not got a stern piece, so he comes to the market and buys the cheapest one with space for a propeller on it, which is annoying because it's the only one with space for a propeller on it. Number two, he takes a middle ship tile. It's number six, so that means he takes the free one and it's on the left-hand side, so that'll be his next piece. And then for his third, it does not say shakedown, and he's got more than one empty space. So he's going to take a middle tile based on his result here. It's four, and this says left. So one, two, three, four on the left-hand side. That's going to be the piece that he grabs, and he is not going to do a shakedown cruise. He has not completed his ship. That's his turn, though. So I need to come off here. Oh, I didn't move, uh, move his piece forward either, did I? Uh, so... I haven't done any work getting parts for my ship yet, but I want employees. For employees, I get a gilder for being behind him. Then, so it goes there. I would like, you know, the builder lets me just put cranes on if there's not space for them, or I can get more money when I sell commodities, but I'm going to pay to move one extra space. And I, yeah, I want to be able to put smokestacks on when there isn't space for them, but I also want this instead. So I have to pay an extra one for this. It's got a marker in the corner. But this means when I take things from the brown rondelle action, I will also get a smokestack. Whatever else I got, I'll get a smokestack. So hoping to kind of double up on these things. Shipmeister is next. So that goes to the front and his second marker goes on there. And then what's he going to take? It's going to be... Well, he's going to go for some commodities again. He does have... The thing, doesn't he? So he's got... So let's look down his priority list. Uh, he's got a captain, he's got a propeller. So next up would be a smokestack, which he gets from coal. So he'll go for that. Then cannons, cranes he hasn't got. That can be bought with gold. Yep, yeah, he'll do that. And then all he's got left is a, a coal. He's got one of each of the things he can exchange coal for now. So he will go for another propeller again, I guess, because it's higher on his priority list. So that's going to do him for his next ship. And that's gone. Back to me. I can't hire an employee, or although I could if I wanted to pay the money. So canal goes to the front. I can't take ship pieces. I think getting parts for the ship would be good again. So I could get a cannon, but I think I'm gonna pay I'm gonna pay one, and this'll get me two smokestacks, which is gonna be good. You want pairs of smokestacks on your ship. 
Although it is, uh, it's it's sails that I can put on without needing space for them. Yeah, I'd have to come all the way around again to get the smokestacks one. Shipmeister, what's he up to? He's going to go, brown is taken, uh, so he's going to go for commodities. So let's roll the die, and he gets seven, which means he takes the zero cost one. So for me, ship pieces have become available. Do I want them at last? I can, of course, get people to go on the ships. Yeah, I think I will. And I haven't refreshed the display, actually, have I? From when he took everything. So is there going to be an expensive rudder up there? No, there isn't, which is frustrating. But we can work around that. I think I might just take... So what do I want to attack? Sm attach smokestacks. So the crates there, that's where you would put a crane. This is an attachment for a cannon. This is where you would put a sail or a smokestack. So that's what I've got at the moment. I think that's what, at its free, I think I'll have that. Do I want to have ships with loads of lanterns on? Or one of each, it's just so it's worth five points? You count all the lanterns that you bought over the course of the game. I think try and get a ship with one of everything on. What if we went for? I don't want to complete the ship just yet. And I might be able to get a, a, a thing with a rudder on it. So, I haven't got a rubber ring at the moment. That's just what I'm going to keep calling it, apparently. Uh, so that costs me one each for those. There is a free piece there. You can take three pieces, basically, for the action. One, two, or three. You can't rearrange them when they go out here as well. I don't want to complete the ship because I haven't got a captain. So, is that what I'm just going to do? If, it, if you want people, you want cabins for them? I'm, I'm going to leave it at that for now. They're the pieces I'm going to take, so I need to pay two for those. I've still got seven money. Do I want to pay? For uh, an extra action? Maybe take an employee? What could I get if I did? When you go on the green wheel, get a businessman. And I could make that my extra criteria. Make sure I get some cabins on the ships. Yeah, I'm going to go for an extra action. So this can be before or after your main action. I'm paying six to do it. I'm taking an employee. So I move one space. I'm paying one for this employee. When I go on the green wheel, I get myself a businessman wherever I went. So it is time for the Meister. What's he going to grab? Uh, can he sell commodities? That's what he just came off. Can't go on pieces. Can't go on the brown wheel. He can go on the green wheel, though. I was probably going to go there. Uh, so he does not pay for things or move it extra. He will just move it one space and take the appropriate uh, thing. So, OK, what's available for Tom then? No money. He's gone on the very backmost piece. Well, I could get one if I got another piece of canal. But I think if I got an employee, I would only be able to get put crew on without cabins for them, up to two crew without cabins, which is decent. I would, of course, like, you know, a free propeller whenever you go on the green wheel would be amazing. But I've left myself with no money. So maybe I get a canal for now. I'll just get the free one because that's going to give me a gilder for being behind someone. So you want to kind of you know, make, make a route that your boats are going to sail down when they go on their cruise, but also you want them to go over relevant pieces. So if I'm going to, say, build up loads of lanterns here, you get a point for every lantern on your boat when you sail across those spaces. So I'm going to go for a load of lanterns. I want uh, those to be close together so the ship could go across that. If my ship's going to move loads, the blue ribbon gives you a point for every space you've already moved when you go on here, but I'm kind of making the route as I put this down. I don't really know how far my ship's going to move. I'm going to put it down like that for now. I'm not quite sure. Uh, so uh, let's see. This goes to the front. I would very much like him not to hire employees, but usually that's exactly what he's going to do. Uh, so coming on green, he can uh, sell commodities and he's got a train again. So let's see, coal first. He's already got two propellers, so he would get a smokestack to balance that out. Then steel, it goes cannons, sails, soldiers. So he's got a cannon. He hasn't got a sail or a soldier, so that's what he'll get. So it's all balanced out. So his next ship <laughs> could very well have a lot of stuff on it. Uh, okay, so for me... I can, I, oh, I can't get pieces again because that's the piece. I, that's the thing I've just given up, but it's available. I am going to go for an employee again. So I'm behind someone, so I get a money. And what do I want to do? So I don't want to advance it any further, I don't think. I would very much like, you know, a propeller whenever I go on the green action. 
But if I'm getting these free business people, and I'm not necessarily getting cab cabins, maybe I want to save the money and be able to put crew in there. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Up to, up to two crew in there without space. And that doesn't cost me anything. Even better. Okay, so next up, I'm very concerned though about the fact that I haven't made any ships yet. Uh, so he's going for hiring employees. Glad I went there. No, he can't. He can get a new train though. Let's roll him a die. And that's going to be eight, which means he takes the free one again. Oh, this one should be gone. He sold all the stuff from that. Then canals become available again to, well, to people that aren't me. And so I could go for, what would that be? A crane and a smokestack for me. Or I could pay one so I would get a sail and a smokestack. I've got spaces for some of these things. Or do I get more pieces for the ship? I need a captain. It's tempting to go on the green and grab a captain. I need a thing that gets you a captain whenever you go on green, no matter where it is. Captain is the next one. Yeah, I'm going to give up the, the, the money and the temptation to get another sail for now. And if he does take that, it'll be a while till I can do it again, but he will make it uh, free for me to get a sail on there. So advance to the captain, and whenever I go on the green thing, I also get a businessman, a banker. So I can finally complete the ship now. I've got the minimum for a captain, and I don't need a cabin for either of these two. They can just stand out in the cold. Although the captain doesn't need a cabin. Actually, I assume it doesn't specifically say, but let's see, he's been to sell commodities three times. I assume the wheel would still turn like it would if I went there. It's kind of because that could potentially mess me up. It could be good for me, could be bad. Same as if you were playing against people. Uh, so I've gone on the green action. He is going to make exchanging commodities available again, which you know I could do to get the if it's not the only way you can get a captain. Okay, it's canal time for the Meister. But he, of course, does not care about getting canals. So instead, he gets two bonuses. He gets the action. You know, if he'd gone to the commodity, either, either of the commodities tiles, he has a train, so he will sell the train. So coal twice. He's got an even number of those, so he'll get, I suppose, another propeller and another smokestack. Then steel. Uh, he has one of each, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got one of each thing, so his top priority one is cannons, so he will have another cannon. Why can't I find them? There we go. And then, depending on what he just did, so if he had just gained a train, he would get the equivalent of this ship build action, so basically with the tile on the right, but he does not have a train now, so he takes the equivalent of uh, take ship tiles with the, the dot on the left. It's what he's going to do now, so he's basically another way he can complete his uh, ships and it's got shakedown written on it so he is going to complete it so first up we roll the d8s and get them nice and in order for him so he does have things on his board now for the first die so he uses the result of this and grabs a middle one so we're looking on the left of the middles five means he gets the free one then second ship piece he gets another middle on the left he's rolled a two so one two takes that crane piece and then finally shakedown is written on he's got a stern so that means he's going to grab a bow based on the result of the third die it's a one so he takes this one and then we refresh the display and get ready for a shakedown cruise so first up he's got a captain now the captain goes on the ship doesn't need to be in the cabin it's got a rudder he's got a propeller so that goes on there He's only got one mount, so he will try and get the, the best speed based on what he's got and the space he's got for it. A smokestack would actually, if he put a sail on there, that would increase his speed by one, but it's ship smokestack propeller gives him the minimum four, so he will put a smokestack on there, actually. So you want to try and get the best speed with the fewest items. Then he puts cannons go on the blue and cranes go on the green as many as he can, and then fill cabins with soldiers, businessmen, and captains in that order. So soldier goes on there because he's only got space for one person. So the speed of his ship is, he's just got the minimum there to get into this, uh, this better category. So his speed is four. Then he gets a point for every person on it. So five, six. Two points for every crane or cannon. Eight, 10, 12. So that's another 12 points. So he's on 22. And then we count the number of uh, things on the side. One, two, three, four times three for normal difficulty. That's another 12 points. That's 34 right now. Bear in mind, he isn't going to score any points at the end of the game for contracts. But still, it's, <laughs> it's something to be concerned about. I need to get a ship out. I've got stuff. And then that's a completed ship for him. Okay, that was some big points. Let's try 
and catch up in some way. So, if I was to get three pots, maybe I want to go for, you know, do the five ships. There is not a way that I could get a propeller on my ship, so it would be a slow one. Well, I should actually have put my ship on the card where I was thinking. Can't change your mind afterwards. So do I want to wait? Do I want to try and get the employee that lets me just put propellers down anyway? Or if I just get a, f a few lanterns, I could earn some points in that way. I could be working on another ship. Yeah, let's go get the parts. So cannons coming up. I think I want my second ship. How fast is this one going to go? Or do I just go for the one of everything, a straight extra five points every time? I can just get these people on the ship. I could do with more brown things, really. It's just that I'm very concerned he's just going to take the next uh, ship parts action. It's going to be unavailable for ages. I've got I've got space for all of these sails. Let's go behind everyone, get three money again. I'm going to complete the ship next time. I might have to pay to do an extra action. So it goes to Crane. I want to skip it forward so I can get a sail. And I also get a smokestack. So sail, smokestack. Then watch him get parts. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> might be more annoying for me. Uh, he is actually getting an employee for the first time. So we advance the marker. And then roll the d8. Uh, we get a six, which means he takes a tile from this column. And then we basically roll the d6 now. One, two, three, four, five, six. I really wanted this propeller one. It's, he's taking it. He's not only skipping me past that space. That's what he's taking. He doesn't use any of this, but he's uh, he's denying it me. Okay, so propellers just might not be in my future. I might have to rely on other things than speed. Okay, then. So I would get a little bit more money now i get an extra coin for doing ship tiles i kind of i can trade if there's things i desperately need that i haven't been able to get oh do you know what i want this employee here gives you an extra speed for every two sails you've got on your ship but i need two more money to take an extra action i can get that two money by going back here but i would finish my ship then and not be able to do any of it if i what what are the prices going to be? Two, three, two here. I could make. I've got one of each thing. So if I wanted to sell my commodities for money, I could make seven money for selling my train and just hope that he doesn't do ship parts again. That's <laughs> what I'm going to have to hope for. So I'm behind one person, so I get one coin, and I'm selling it. This moves first. You can't pay to move this anymore. Uh, so I've got one of each. Two, five, seven more money there. So I've got plenty of money, and I'm going to pay for an extra action. Let's go for another employee. So at least my sales, they'll be worth an extra speed now together. And if I can get loads of them, maybe it'll help me out. So what would my speed be right now? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So get me to that rib and I'm not going to have a cannon. Maybe I want to get a cannon. Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's just see what the Meister does. He's building ships while I'm just kind of floundering. Uh, he goes for brown ring but i'm on there so he's gonna go for parts it's it's got shakedown written on it as well so he we roll the dice and he has not got a stern so actually if there are no sterns available with a rudder on them he will go for a bow according to the die he rolled a seven so he'll take the free one middle uh, he rolled a four so he's on the right hand side one two three four a third piece shakedown is written on so he uses the value of the third die to just get a stern so he cannot put a propeller on it but hey welcome to the club welcome to the party pal so shakedown he does not have a captain but he doesn't need one uh he cannot put a propeller on there uh, he can put a smokestack on there smokestack on its own is not going to do anything though is it so a sail will increase his speed he hasn't got a cannon or a crane he's got no cabins to put things in so that's it so it's his speed's going to be one two he's got nothing else on there so no points for that so that's just two and then uh he's got two things on the outside multiplied by three six more points three four five six okay then for me no actions available that can score me any money Still no rudders available. I need to just get moving, don't I? One more stop off. If I'm going to go over this uh, this cannon space, I can get a point if I've got a soldier on board, and we're about to tick over onto soldier, and I also get a free businessman. So let's go for that. Soldier and a businessman. Even though I do want the businessmen on there, maybe I'll get a cabin though. I can take more people. Oh, I've taken a captain again. Uh, soldier. Wasn't um, behind anyone. Uh, oh, employees are going to be available again, but... <laughs> 
that's all I've done is build up loads of employees. So what is he going to do? He's going to go for commodities. I'm on there. Uh, green wheel, no. Pot, he's on brown wheel. So he just uh, goes along and he gets a cannon. Then what do I want? I could get a train and a couple of money. And then I would have enough to be able to buy a couple of pieces for the ship and get it finished as an extra action. Or an employee, when you go on the green or brown actions, you get to move them two ex up to two extra spaces for free. Or when I do the green action, get an extra captain for free. Do you know, if I do that, the next turn, build ships will be free and I, d I won't have to you know, pay to do it as an extra action. Which kind of justifying my... <laughs> to just want to buy more and more things. I'm going for it. All I'm thinking is, just get a ship finished. What are you doing? But here we are. I'm going to try it with this. Uh, I don't think I've gone for this kind of... Uh, this overwhelming army of staff here. Let's see if it works out. Oh, we have reached, though, halfway. Me doing that should have progressed us down here. And I have to decide now which contract I'm keeping. I am going to go for one of each thing on ships, just make them worth five points at a time. And should I go for businessmen? It's just... Apart from your first one, two points a time. And I can get them more easily than other things. Or I could just move off loads of these for four points at a time, but I've got to do actions to go and get more of them. I'm going to go businessman. So different things on your ships, businessman. Not a great deal of points, but you know, there's, there's no cap on these. So I just want to get... They could just be size three ships as long as they've got those three different things in. Just get them out. Uh, so yes, we, we're halfway through the game essentially now. So build ships is at the front and the Meister is, can't do that again. So he's going right at the back and he is going to get a train. He hasn't got one uh, and he rolls a six, which means he gets the free one, triple coal. Next up for me, there is surely no justification for doing anything other than get, well, get two more money, of course, but get Get ship parts. Let's finish this first ship. And now I'm thinking, I wish I'd kept the thing uh, that <laughs> ordered me for size five ships. So I definitely want a buoy. I've got three people that need cabins and I can have two on the ship without a cabin. So I would like one cabin. I haven't got a crane or anything like that to speak of. I would like more lanterns, but look at the display that's come out here. There's one really expensive piece with a lantern on. That'd be worth a point. It'd be great if I had a cabin and a rubber ring but yeah it's going to cost me two either way let's just go for buying oh yeah let's pay two for that one. Oh, that doesn't finish the ship off though uh let's let's just grab these two for one each so that costs me two money and that is a size five ship annoyingly uh, and then i'm going to go free for the next one and let's just get a nice middle little lifeboat. Let's just pop that there because I can build the next ship around it. I want to make sure you get three things. So this is about to set sail. So let's get as many things on there as possible. So I don't need connectors for these, but I think I've got them anyway. There's no sense putting a third smokestack on because it's only pairs that will give me any speed. And then a cabin for you. Two don't need cabins because of that. So I've still got a couple of pieces left. But let's score this thing. So its speed is one two three four five so its speed is five then people on it six seven eight nine no cranes or cannons so nine points for that then i've got my five uh, movements so we can move it along one how many lanterns just one two three how many spaces have you moved so far three one two three for five, how many, uh, a point for every cannon or soldier you've got on board? A soldier. So 14 point ship there. Not amazing uh, considering the weight, but still, yeah, maybe that's okay. We've got something going now. We've got, and there's five points at the end of the game now, for having one of each thing. Uh, two points there because we've got two businessmen so far. We've got something going, haven't we? So we've got another seven points on top of that at the moment. We're not crushingly behind, we're just. Uh, painfully behind so meister what are you up to he's going for he can't take that again uh, he's just done that last turn he can't take pieces he'll go for the green wheel and get himself yet another propeller i am making employees available again we've gone right around haven't we uh so you go there and what would i like to do 
get parts for my next ship, I suppose. Canal, if it's going to be moving a lot again, I'm going to need another piece in the canal. But yeah, I don't know what parts my ship's going to have yet. If I get a canal, I will get two coins for being behind other pieces. So two money and a canal, could get a free canal. Or if I'm going to get loads of business people, I probably want to pay one and get the one with the crane. So this one is done for now. I don't, I don't need to keep track of that. I've moved off that one. I am going to need a canal, I think. So. Well, I've got no sales or anything right now, have I? Let's, let's get two money. And I am going to pay one. And let's have the canal with the crane on it. And let's put it there. Maybe we'll move loads and get onto that ribbon. But oh, we're, we're miles away then from... Go there and... The crane's at the end then, though. Let's go that way. Lanterns and cranes we want on this next ship. Next up, we have... Train, he's just come off that. Green wheel isn't available. Brown wheel is available. He's going to go for smokestack, which I wanted that. But for me, can't take parts. Haven't got a train to sell, so I can't take an action that's going to make me money. Do I want an employee? I could get, you know, put smokestacks on without space. I want like a free sale every time. Oh, you know, you can make commodities sell for more money. So when you sell steel, you get an extra money. And then there's a level two of each type. You have to get the level one first. Well, I do. He doesn't. Uh, and you get points at the end for having those. You know what? I've got a feeling I'm not going to get the chance to. But I am going to buy this train that's just got gold on it. If I get to sell commodities next time, which I feel is so unlikely. But if I do, I could sell those for four each. Yeah, I can't get the upgrade. We're on that space, so it's got to go all the way around again. So that's not happening, but yeah. He might take um, parts. Let's see. He is going to take an employee. Okay. That's good because it leaves ships available for me. But, um, but, I, but I want commodities now and it would make me more money for being behind three people as well. Ooh. Right, what's going on? He is getting an employee, so it moves a space, and then uh, one to three, five to, uh, four to six. Uh, one to three, takes the top one away from me. So it hasn't ended up with any points from these yet. Uh, then I... I'm making canals available again. I think before he takes this action, I've got, I've got to do it. So it's three money for being behind everyone. And then I'm just selling it for money. That ticks over. Four for each gold, selling three gold, that's 12 more money. So that is a few extra actions as well. I have had to give up some actions to do that. But that's going to be a lot of freedom, or freedom to be able to buy things that I really want, move things around. I, I hope that's going to be worth it. Uh, so, Meister, I now need to concentrate on getting some ships out, but watch him take the build ships action. Uh, I'm on the train, uh, so yeah, he is going to take ship parts. He hasn't got any at the moment, so is there a stern with a rudder? No. So he we roll the dice. So he uses the first die to get a bow. It's eight, so it's three. Then six to get a middle piece on the right-hand side. Uh, it gets the free one again. And then finally, it doesn't say shake down on, so he takes another middle piece. He's got four. One, two, three, four. Grabs that one. I'm going to need a captain. Now, I can't get parts just yet, but I'm going to need a captain if I want to do anything. So I'm going to spend the money to move it an extra space. I'll get a captain and a businessman. You know, I like more of them, of course, but we'll see how that goes. Meister. And look, we're getting halfway through the second go-round. The game ends next time we get to the top. Then he is going to take a canal. Oh, he can do that, yes. Uh, oh, he shouldn't still be on there. You can have a canal. Oh, but he doesn't take one, does he? He does his special actions. Uh, so first of all, he has got a train, so he sells the train. Phew. Okay, so he has got... All right, smokestacks and propellers, he's just piling up on these. He's got three of each. So he'll get two propellers and a smokestack, I guess. Sell that. He does not have a train tile, so he does a shakedown build on the left-hand side. So let's roll his dice. First of all, he does have pieces, so he will take a new middle piece with this result. So it's on the left-hand side, so... Goes there. Another middle piece with this one. It's a three. So one, two, three. And then finally, it says shakedown. So he needs to finish off his ship. He's rolled a three. One, two, three. Takes that piece. And it's time for a shakedown cruise. 
So he hasn't got a captain or anything like that. Not that he needs one. Doesn't have a rudder, so he can't put a propeller down. He can put smoke stacks on. Has he got space for four? He has. So he can get a bit of speed from those. He's got a cannon for the blue mount. And he's got a cabin for the businessman. There we go. He's used everything other than his propellers. So speed is one, no sails, two pairs of smokestacks. They're a speed each. So three speed in total, plus four, five, six altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then on the outside of the boat, one, two, three times three is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to go back to easy difficulty. And another Meister ship sails into the distance. Captainless. That businessman's in charge. Okay, I can't have a money making action again. Employees. I've probably spent too much time getting employees. I need to do a bonus action, don't I? I need to get something and then let's do a bonus action to get some ship parts. I could do with. Let's go on the brown wheel. One, pay to move it again, so I get a sail and a smokestack. A sail and a smokestack. Can I... Oh, I haven't refreshed these. I could surely get one of everything right on a size 3 ship. No, there is no bow piece that's got anything on it. So if I want to have a one of everything ship for the five points... Hope ne next time I could take ship parts again. I do already have one part, so maybe I can do it, maybe I can do it. So I need, we can go free, oh, I've already got a, I want a lantern, so that would cost me two. I don't need a cabin. <gasps> There's a rudder available, I've got a propeller. Okay, so that costs me two, and I'm paying six for the action, bear that in mind. And then, I need a lantern, that costs me two. And you could just be free, because I don't need, how fast would this move? Or do I want to wait for this? I think I want to wait for this, you know. It's costing me so much money. I can get the pieces next time. You were there. You were there. You were there. I could take a bonus action for something else. For getting more things. So I'm going to get those pieces. I'm getting, you know, space for a cannon. I could get a cannon and another smokestack. I do have to have the mounting points for smokestacks, though. Whereas I don't for the sails. But to get sails again, we've got to go all the way around. Because I don't have the employee that gets me free sails. Let's go for it. Six for an extra action. One, one, two, three that I've just paid for. Sail in a smokestack again. I've got to get three mounting points though. I've got money. Uh, Meister is going to make ship building possible. And he's going for a canal. No, he isn't. He is going to sell commodities. He can do that. So he buys a boat instead. So what's he buying? It's a four. One, two, three, four. Gets the top one. Then it's time for, yes, let's, let's build a ship. So I need three mountain points. This is going to cost me all my money, isn't it? So two money to get that. That's for sure. Because I want the rudder. I don't need a cabin. I want to be able to at least put one more of the... Yeah, I need to put two of these at least on. I want the lantern anyway. That's two money. So I've got one of everything on there. I want another mountain point. That's costing me one. See, I'm not going to be able to get the one more speed, but that's fine. And then we'll just get the free bow. So now I can put on my propeller... I can put on two of the smokestacks, and I don't need space for two sails. I don't need space for up to two people. So, speed. We have boat plus smokestack plus propeller is four, five, six, seven, eight, eight speed, plus two for these. So, 10 points there, around 24. Then, we're going to move one, two... I have one lantern, so that's one point. Three, I have one businessman, so that's another point. Four, five, six, I have one lifeboat. Oh, I just bought four pieces, didn't I? I can't do that. I would have had to have spent my last money to get this piece. A little take back, but there we go. But I'll put that one back so that gets me my money back. Seven, eight, how many spaces have you moved to get here? Eight, so that's eight points. That's 35 there, and that's another two there and another five there so that's 14 extra points i think so far i don't think that catches me up still but let's see how it goes maybe can we get one more built can we get anything on it if i do all that money gone well that's if, if you want to get really specific with your ship 
you got to pay for it. Okay, he's buying a train, but he's already got one, actually. He, he interchanges the actions, doesn't he? So that rotates, and he gets, let's see, gold. His priority is crane soldiers businessman. He's got none, so he will just take a crane. That's his top priority. And then steel, his priority is cannons, cranes, and soldiers. Oh, actually, cap captain. No, it's not a soldier, it's a captain. That's his top priority. So he gets a captain with the gold. And then he will take a cannon and a sail with his two steel. Next, what do I want? So there's a bit of money available for an employee. I need an employee. I could get a soldier and a businessman, but I probably want to... Is it worth getting a propeller when the only space for a rudder costs me two? And I don't even know if it's going to be there since, of course, everyone prioritizes that. I can't go on the brown wheel again because I've just put that back. I'm going to need a canal. I want to sail into the boat. So I suppose that would be a good thing to get. Would it? Yes, I think it would. Let's get another free canal. That one can go. I'll just turn. As long as you're not turning the ship around, I'm turning the entire tile around. Let's go there. Two, three, four, five. If I can move five spaces with my ship and get to that for another five points, that would be cool. Next up, the Meister is... Can't do a ship, can't do a train, can go on the green wheel though. Gets a soldier. And as for me, I can't build a ship again. Similar situation. I probably want to go on the brown wheel, right? Or would I get a cannon? If I get space for it, a cannon's two points. I haven't got a great place for it to drive through, though. And I've, I'm thinking speed, aren't I? I'm going there. I can get a cannon. I'm going to pay to get two smokestacks. But then you need to have the space to put them on. And it's sails that I can put on for free, not smokestacks. Let's not pay. One cannon, one smokestack. I have already got a smokestack as well, so it's fine. Uh, then, Meister. Not long left here at all. Meister is going for... Uh, commodities. He doesn't have a train, so he's going for... Six is the free one. Canals come out. You're an employee now. <laughs> so late in the game, but it would earn me some money. I can't make a rubbish ship because I haven't got a captain. But at the same time, selling commodities is, is going to take so long to come back out if I get a train right now. You do get to build any ship at the end, though, if you're still not finished. I'm going to go for ship parts. Let's just have free ones. I'm not going to, I've not got a propeller. I'm not going to get a rudder. I want somewhere that my smokestacks can go for sure. I've got a cannon and... Then I've got a lifeboat and a rubber ring, so let's go for it. I just need to get a lantern. They're looking so pricey right now. Okay, Maestro. The employee's just getting left behind now. Uh, the Maestro is going for the train. He has already got one, so he's going to be selling it. What for? Let's see. His, for coal, his priority is propeller, then smokestack. He's got tons of propellers. No smokestacks, so that's what he'll go for. Gold, he's got a captain. He hasn't got a crane, though. He's captain, then crane, then businessman on that. And then for steel, cannon, sails, then soldiers. He's got a cannon, he's got a sail, and he's got a soldier. So loop back round again, he'll get a cannon. That's done. So for me, get on that green wheel and get... I want it to be a captain, but I can't afford to get a captain. But I don't want a canal, I don't want an employee. I could just grab an employee that's going to get me a point, but it, um, businessmen are two points each. And maybe then I'll be able to get a captain as my last action or something like that. Let's do that. So I'm going to have to pay one to have moved it an extra space. I get a businessman and a free businessman. Oh, no, I get, I get a free captain. <sighs> businessman. Businessman captain. Oh, I forgot I took that. I've been forgetting to pick that up. I don't know. I can't remember when I picked it up. Hopefully not. Meister, this is the last, like, main action of the game. Okay, so, what's he going to do? He can go on the brown wheel. Not that it matters too much, although he's going to move it, so it can matter. So he's going to take a smokestack. And then, you can choose one final action. It can be anything. You don't get money for it. And it can cause a shakedown cruise. You can also, if you only need one tile to finish a ship... You can buy that one tile. That isn't part of your last action. It doesn't have to be. You can do something completely different and then buy the one tile you need to finish your ship. If I want things to have a lantern on... Oh no, I've left myself with no money. 
this might all come crashing down on me now. So I've got somewhere for the cannon, that's fine. I've got somewhere for one smokestack. I don't even need cabins, I don't know why I bought cabins. Haven't got a ship. So I can't afford any, I can't afford a lantern. So I might as well just take the free ship tile to finish the ship off. What action can I take then? I might as well take a green wheel action. So I get a captain and a free captain and a businessman because I can't take everyone here. You can take extra captains. They're just worth extra points. Uh, so I can have two people that aren't in cabins. That's fine. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get the five for having each thing on there. I've got two more businessmen, though, so that's an extra four. But this... This ship is not going to move at all. <laughs> there's very little I can do about that, though, because there's in the free bits, there's just the, there are no more attachments for the smokestack. And unfortunately, it's sails that, yeah, you want to try and synergize a little bit, get free sails every time if you can put free sails on there rather than free smokestacks like I've got. But hey... Things just went that way. I thought I was going to get that. I thought I was going to get the thing that let you attach propellers no matter what. <laughs> but it got taken from me. So a shakedown cruise. Yeah, it's just going to be one movement, which isn't even going to get me to a scoring space. It's the way it goes. So one speed plus two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go. For the extra turn at the end of the game, the Meister does the build ships action as well so he's gonna go for let's see there is a stern with a rudder on so he'll go for that don't need the number for that six he takes from the bottom and it's the left column for the final action and then he takes another middle uh that was a four wasn't it one two three four and then in his last chance to complete a ship phase uh he rolled a two one two finishes his ship with that goes on a shakedown cruise so we've got space for a crane propeller uh let's see what's going to give him the most uh getting the smokestack and then one sail or sail or thing doesn't matter does it he's got no space for guns unfortunately he's got a cabin doesn't need a cabin for his captain there we go speed is he's got one of each so four five speed six seven eight nine ten eleven points for that and then on the outside he's got two things times three is six five six and finally, uh, we can look at my government contracts and what I managed to do. So businessmen on ships, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I did two ships with one of each thing on. So that's another 10 points. So the final score is, is that 50? 74 to 61. So yes, I need to practice more on easy mode. Maybe not waste as much time getting employees. I had a great selection of employees, but I don't think they all paid off <laughs> quite so well. But hey, the, the game is over before you know it. At two players just twice around this and that's it. So there we go. That is another game of Shipyard. The first one, the two player version is there if you'd like to see me play against Little Glass Marty with you know, all of the standard rules. Uh, and I did my first impressions of the game there. I absolutely love it. I won't do a separate one for this video. But uh, yeah, thanks to Larry again for this solo variant. It's you know, once you've printed off the cards, it's it's very easy upkeep. It's very easy to remember the little steps. It might look like there's you know, a lot of text and bullet points at the start of it. But as soon as you're into the game, it's actually just Oh yeah, he takes this tile, he takes this tile, then it's mine again. It's very, very, very snappy, which is always great in a solo game. And it's something nice to compete with as well. He beat me, but in a way that I can kind of see how I could have uh, done that. You can't you know, deny him as much as uh, you can't you can't see what he's going for to complete his ship in that way that you might be able to with an, uh, an opponent. But in the same way as playing with, uh, with a human opponent, he is turning these wheels and you are trying to see opportunities that you know, if I leave the build ships action, he's going to take it away from me. So I need to get in there first and all of that good stuff. Uh, but mo most of all, I'm just thinking it's, it's more chance of playing shipyard because, uh, yeah, Rach, Rach doesn't really like shipyard. Shock horror. Uh, I love it, though. Uh, so there we go. I'll leave you with all of that. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye, everyone.